This week on Outdoor Oklahoma, rabbit hunting with beagles is almost a lost art these days. Fortunately, there's families like ours today that are keeping the tradition alive. Join Turbo, Daisy, RJ, Ruby and Buck, and the rest of the gang right now on Outdoor Oklahoma. Well, hello and welcome to Outdoor Oklahoma. I'm Todd Craighead. You know, unfortunately, it seems increasingly harder to find folks that still rabbit hunt with beagles here in Oklahoma. It was a mainstay of, say, my grandpa and my dad's generation that took no telling how many cottontails and, and jackrabbits with this old Winchester shotgun. And although it may be harder to find hunters that still do this, it's not for lack of an opportunity. Rabbit hunting is one of our longest running hunting seasons, spanning from October 1 to March 15th. It's also one of our most generous bag limits. For cottontails, you can have up to 10 a day and keep 20 in possession. And it's also a great way to introduce kids into hunting. First, you're mobile, and second, well, there's no need to be quiet with a bunch of barking beagles around. And although it's not required by law to at least wear an orange hat, except during any of our big game gun seasons, we'd still encourage you to do so. If you haven't rabbit hunted with beagles before, then you're in for a treat today. We'll tag along with the Goad family, who have been hunting this way now for more than 40 years. Introduce you to these beagle dogs here. First one coming out, this is going to be Daisy. Come on out of here, Daisy. Daisy's a pretty good old dog. She'd made somebody an awful good lap dog if she wasn't so big, wouldn't you, huh? You'd have made a lap dog, wouldn't you, huh? This is Daisy. Daisy gonna say hi to him, huh? Okay, come on, let's get down, dude. Get down, come on. <laughs> See, I told you, she's just a big old. There, there you go. Then this one here, this is Turbo. Turbo, he's a, these are 15 inch beagles. The smaller ones are 13, these are 15s here. And this is Turbo. Rusty, you wanna get over and introduce your hound dogs now? Mine's not gonna come out that nice. This is Ruby. RJ and Buck. We're in McIntosh County on the north end of Ufala Lake. We're about to run some rabbits with these beagle dogs. We got five, we got five dogs. That's not all we got, that's all we have with us today. Let's go dogs, let's go, come on. Let's go this way, hurry, hurry, hurry. I got my first beagles in 1976. I, bought, I got four, four female beagles and, and they were puppies. Of course, I didn't know nothing about nothing about beagles and uh, an old gentleman down in Quentin helped me get started. And I finally got some beagles to run and I, I would fool with this beagle and that beagle and, and, until I finally figured out the best way to do it is to raise you some beagles from puppies and do your own training and your own get your own beagles running with you. And you have a lot better luck with, with raising, you know, starting with beagle puppies than you do with grown dogs. We'll strike one here in a minute. When we do, we'll tell you which dog's running and which, is, who, which dog's making the, the, the bark. And we, with the, we can tell by their sound which dog is barking. Out of the whole bunch, of, you know, we know just each voice of each, of each dog. Look in here. Oh, they're like people, you know. They're, they're just, they're all different. They all got different personalities. You can tell they have different barks like people have different voices. That's the fun part. You get to argue with your your hunting buddy who who started the race, who whose dog's not running, who's leading the, the pack. So it's it's a fun day watching watching your dog do better than your hunting buddy's dog. And this is Buck. Buck's looking for a mouse. Buck, we ain't mouse hunting. Yeah, there we ain't mouse hunting. <laughs> Come on. 
What's that, Buck? What's that, Buck? Ruby, 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 Ruby. Beagles are a lot of fun. You can turn them loose and, and let them run the rabbits for you. You don't have to bust the brush. You let them do it for you. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Now come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, 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 Hurry, hurry, Turbo, hurry. Now look in here, hurry. See if we can find him in here. Come on, hurry. Hurry, Turbo, hurry. Let's go again. Look him in here, hurry. Look him in here, hurry, hurry. Where'd he go, huh? He was in here a little bit ago, y'all. Come on, let's find him. This, uh, <coughs> this dog right here that got the green collar on him, he started when he was six months old, running. Right? And, and uh, that his sister going there, she was a little over a year old before she, you know, turned into a rabbit dog. So, you know, they're like people, eh? you know, some of them are just a little, hurry, you know, hey, mature hey, earlier than hey. others, do. Get after them in here, hurry. And most all beagles will run rabbits, but now, you know, they, they, you got to find a good one that can run a rabbit. Then, you know, about any beagle can run a rabbit, but, you know, not all of them can run a, a good rabbit. You know, they're not a good rabbit dog. Uh, a lot of it is just like any other animal, it's instinct. You know, if they got a good instinct, you, they'll, they'll do it on their own. But, you know, and then there's like, just like anything else, and some of them will start following other dogs, and once they pick it up, then they go right on with them. Some are better, some are, some are ones that'll go out and, and bust briars with you, for you, and some of them will wait till the other dogs will find the rabbit. You know, they're, they all, they're all different. <laughs> Since 1976, I was six years old when I started hunting with my dad with beagles. He brought them home when I was six years old. I've been doing it for 40 years now. I uh, got acquainted with a, an elderly gentleman in Quentin, and uh, he invited me down to go he had some beagles go rabbit hunting with him in 1975. And uh, he hunted those swamp rabbits in those bottoms down there on uh, Sandboy. So I went with him one time and uh, uh, I, was, I was a beagle man from then on. I got, I got my first beagles in 1976 is where I started. So I've had beagles most of the time. I don't think it's not been a time that I haven't had at least two or, you know, or more beagles since 1976. And uh, I've run rabbits from Interstate 35 East about it, you know, a lot of different places. I've not been over on East of Interstate. Most of it's all been in Eastern, North and East, Northeastern and Southeastern Oklahoma is where I run most of the time. Habitat changes is, is great. I mean, it's been, you know, it's changed a bunch. You know, uh, there's places where I, I have run rabbits that, you know, it's housing conditions now. And, and you know, and uh, uh, I've, I, I've had places where I run swamp rabbits for, you know, several years and, and there's none there now because, you know, people's moved in, cows is, you know, pastures, made pastures and, and, and clean fence rows and stuff like this. And, 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 you know, the habitats has really dropped from, you know, from when I first started, of course. Of course, that's been, you know, from 76 now, that's a bunch of years, so, you know, a lot of changes just happened, of course. Uh, a swamp rabbit is, is, is a larger rabbit, of course, and he stays in the lower bottom. He won't come out up on these ridges like this, and it's not his home. And uh, <clears throat> a cottontail, like, it's, like it says, it's got a, a round tail for a cotton. You know, just about that big round, it looks like a cotton ball. Swamp rabbit has a tail, it's long and narrow. It looks like a, more like a deer tail. 
then, it, then you know it's, it's not it's not fluffy. It's just a long narrow tail on it. My favorite to run is swamp rabbits. My favorite to eat is cottontails. You know, uh, a swamp rabbit is is kind of you know they're usually a little uh, stringy. You know they're not as not as uh, and I, I figured the reason that is because you know they spend more time you know running and you know getting around than a cottontail. Cottontail sets a lot. You know he sets around, waits for stuff. You know he don't he don't get out very far. And a, a swamp rabbit, you get a good running swamp rabbit, he'll run plumb out of hearing distance. If a beagle can run a cottontail, he can run a swamp rabbit because a swamp rabbit runs more straight. Cottontail does more bouncing around and it's harder for him to keep up with. All right, guys, race is on. <laughs> that first howl, that's the most exciting is the first howl. When you hear that first beagle howl and the third beagle howl and the fourth beagle, and you know the race is on. But wherever they jump that rabbit now, he's going to be back there for long. And that, you know, within a pretty good right around where they jumped him at. That's what you come for. <laughs> Those two deep voice dogs are mine. And the, the, the higher pitch dogs are, are uh, Rusty's. Here, oh, what's Rusty? I love, I love the woods. I love to be in the, I love hunting. So we get out and we can enjoy each other and it's a great time. He's making his way back. When I first began, of course, that, you know, everybody carried a gun. That was the deal, shoot the rabbit, shoot the rabbit, you know. And as years go on, uh, you know, uh, I've decided it's just as much fun just to hear the dogs run and let somebody else carry the gun. And, and I'll walk along with my cane, my walking stick, and, and enjoy the race and, and the camaraderie with all the people that's with you at that time. They, they went that way, you probably need to call them, go ahead and call them back and see if we can no, we'll wait a little bit here and see what see what they do. Okay. We'll wait a little bit and see where they went to. All right. <clears throat> Most time I'm trying to watch it, you know, I'm getting moving around to where that beagle when they come out and open and I can see what's who's so I can brag on my dog when he comes out first or 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 he you know, he hits the the, the if he picks up the track after the lose, you know, I'm I'm say, Hey, did you see that? you know, and you know. So I, I enjoy it. I just shoot every way you look at it, I enjoy it. What they ain't doing very good, son. I know, we need to find them one they can run. Yeah. That one wouldn't run a while ago. He'd run here and run over there and stop. Hurry, let's go. Come out of here, hurry. Come out of here, hurry, hurry. That's what I thought. Hurry, hurry now, hurry. Learn together, yes, we did. We didn't, you know, like I say, we'd never, never owned a beagle until 76. And, and Rusty and my other son, Ron, he was the oldest, he was there too. And I tried to get him to come today, but he said he was working today, so he wouldn't. He didn't come out. And uh, uh, both sons, granddaughters, grandsons, all all grew up going rabbit hunting with beagles, and and you know they all have enjoyed it. And, and so that's that's the way we started, and we're still doing it. Let's keep looking. Come on, keep looking. You go around this edge, or you want me to take them over there in that brush, or? I'm, I'm, let's run them down in here, ways, okay? <laughs> let's get them down in here, ways, see what they say. I don't know. Let's hear. Let's, right in here looks pretty good. Right in here, man. Get them in here, man. Might get something out of in here. Look in here, dog. Look in here, dog. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Turbo, look, look in here. Daisy, look in here. Now <laughs> crawl off in here. Come on. I believe there's a rabbit here somewhere close. Well, either he's made a sharp turn and they just kept going on by, or he stopped and sat down and he won't move. And, and they run to the end of the, you know, and he's probably hopped over somewhere and sat down and he just won't jump up. Or he could, he could be, he could hold up. He should, he could have went in a hole or in a tree or something.
but when they shut up just like that, dead still. Something ain't just right, is it? You know, it's like uh, usually they'll run in a brush pile. He's either you know may run in a brush pile. He might you know somewhere he's 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 hid something. He, I think he's went in a hole because if they lose it, see, you make a liar out of me. <laughs> no, I still think he's I think he's holed up somewhere. And sometimes that rabbit will be running this way, he'll stop, and them dogs get close to him, he'll turn around and run right back through them dogs. And he'll run back behind them somewhere and sit down. Mm -hmm. And they gotta hunt and hunt and hunt and hunt for you know to come back and figure out where it where he went to. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes they just the dog is not smart enough to know that when that rabbit turns, they'll just go straight ahead and then they gotta come back and look for him. Which that we try to, you know, not have dogs that do that. You know. If he if he just outsmarts them, that's different. But if they just overrun him, just cause you know, just cause he went this way and they just keep going off down there, you know, 50, 60 yards and have to turn around and come back, then that's you know, that's not a good that's not a good deal. That's not that's not what you want. What's gonna get you we can you focus that right there? That's where rabbit's been eating. That's where he gets his nurse when there's ice and snow on the ground. He'll eat bark off of small bushes and, and uh, little trees. And that's, that's where they get their nourishment when ice is on the ground. When they can't get to nothing else, they eat, they eat tree bark. Okay? And probably, if we look around here, probably be some more somewhere. A little bit here and there. If there was lots of rabbits in here, a big pile of this would be eat up. If there were lots of rabbits, there's not very many rabbits, but there's lots of them that'd be, be there. And we'll look around and see if there's any more here. There's some old one there that's been old, that's been there a while, but he'd been eating off of there. I don't see any more right offhand right in here. I don't see any more except that one there. I seen some over here a while ago. Let's go run this rabbit, you know what I'm <laughs> I've had, there's no, I, I can't, wouldn't even think about how many beagles I've owned in, in, in those many years. Usually, uh, they will last about, you know, 10, 10 years is about their, their maximum. And then when they get that old, you just either, you know, retire them. And uh, like for instance, I had a, a preacher lived down there and I had one retired a few years ago and he come by and he said, he said, Butch, he said, I want an old beagle. And so I gave him to Preacher Ford and, and, and you know, he, he finished his life out walking around the pastures with, with Preacher Ford because Preacher was old, you know, elderly. And, and, and usually, if, if I can't somebody find them a good home, I'll keep them until, you know, until they expire. Hey, 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 let's go. Get out of there. Come on, let's go. Go this way. <laughs> Come on, get out of there. Let's go find you some rabbit. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Hurry, 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 hurry. Hurry this way, hurry. Come on, hurry this way, hurry. Come on, hurry this way, hurry. Hurry, hurry now, hurry. Come on, put him in here, hurry. Come on, hurry, 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 hurry. Back in here, y'all lost him in here. Hurry, work him in here. Hurry, hurry, hurry now, hurry, hurry, hurry. Work him in there, Turbo. Work him in there. Where you at, Russell? Hey! Where you at? Hurry, dog, hurry! Come on, hurry, 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 hurry! Hurry, 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 hurry! Come on, hurry! Hurry, where you want me at? Right here. Come on, hurry, dog, come on! Hey, 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 come hey, on, Turbo, hey, here! Hey, come on, buddy, hey, come hey, on! Hey, hey, hey. Oh, no, Daisy, come on! There he is. I 
think I got him. When before Rusty shot that rabbit, the the, the dogs was running this rabbit in thick briars that you couldn't you couldn't get through. And, but they they can work their way through. And uh, they they run him around out of them briars and run him in them briars until he brought him out in into the opening, out of the briars where Rusty could shoot him. And and uh, I think you did you make a pretty good shot, Rusty? <laughs> Looked like you got a good one there, bud. Finally got one. Finally got one, did you, huh? Took us all day, but we got it. <laughs> That's a pretty nice rabbit, ain't it? Yeah, it is. Huh? That'll be good eater right A good there. eating, buddy. Good eating, good rabbit. eating right there, That'll yes, work. sir. We're going to try to run one more before we're back to the truck. I think we should, don't you? Works for me. The weather's nice now. Might as the wind's well. quit blowing. I think we might have run another one myself, I think. Probably find one right down there on this creek. All right. That's what we're going to do then, if y'all are ready. All right. Rabbit is, is probably the best one of the best table fare, you know, of wild game they are. Uh, rabbit doesn't have a wild game taste like squirrel or, or, or deer. You know, they, they, they got their own rabbit taste, but it's not a wild taste. And, uh, uh, you know, you can, you know, you can fry them and you can bake them, you can barbecue it, you can, uh, you know, make dumplings out of it, whatever. You know, it, 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 it's, uh, it, I compare it to chicken. It don't taste like chicken by no means, but I compare it. You can cook it that many ways. That you can chicken the same way. Let's go. <laughs> hurry, dogs. Let's go. Come on. Let's get them. Hurry, dogs. Hurry. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Hurry. Hurry, dogs. Come on. Come on. Come on now. The best way to get involved is is to uh, find someone that's already got beagles and already running and, and uh, you know, like people come to me and say, I want to go rabbit hunting with you. Well, sure, come on. And, 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 uh, and then when they do, I, you know, they can see what's happening. I can explain to them, you know, how to get them a dog, you know, how to take care of them. And that's what you need to do. You need to get hold of someone that will, you know, mentor you in. Because if you just go buy your dog and, and run out here and say I'm going to hunt beagles, it ain't going to happen. So you need to go with someone and, and let them mentor, mentor you along. And, and uh, uh, all beagles has got different, uh, like people, they're not the same. All right? You're going to like this dog because he's got these traits and he does this and he does that. And I don't like it though. I like this one over here because he does this and he does that. And once you get started, you'll, you'll, you'll figure out what you want to do, and what dog you want to involve, what kind of dog, what speed you want, how many you want. You know, for children to do it, you know, it keeps them busy. They're not sitting and waiting, like fishing or hunting deers or whatever. They're not sitting. You get them out here where they can move, you know, they enjoy it a whole lot better than just sitting and waiting on something to come by. You get them out here where they're wandering around, they enjoy it a lot better. And, and, and uh, don't get them cold, though. Don't take them until they freeze to death. <laughs> I know I've done that to my boys sometimes, but I felt bad now because I did it. <laughs> but anyway, rabbit has just got into my, and beagles has got into my blood, and, and it'll be there when I go away. Well, I've only been rabbit hunting with beagles just a couple times, but each time it was a hoot to watch and listen to the dogs work. You know, I don't care what type of breed of dog it is or or what they're trained to do. It seems that folks that have dogs that hunt have about two things in common. First, they're passionate about their dogs, and secondly, well, at some point, they'd rather just watch their dogs hunt than actually hunt themselves. Well, it's no doubt that hunting rabbits with dogs is a lot of fun, but don't let not having a dog stop you from getting out there. You can certainly have some success just walking out fields on your own. And never before in our state's history have we had so many public places to rabbit hunt. Most all of our 90 public hunting areas across the state offer at least part of the five and a half month long season to small game hunting. And with our new Oklahoma Land Access Program, or OLAP, coming online this year, well there will certainly be even more places to rabbit hunt. And be sure and check the hunting regulations and the website, wildlifedepartment.com, before heading out. In most cases, all you need is just an annual hunting license. So, dogs or no dogs, grab a shotgun and some buddies and make some memories of your own this year chasing rabbits. 
for all of us at your wildlife department. I'm Todd Craighead, and I'll see you right here next time on Outdoor Oklahoma. Thank you.